All right, this is a video of the uh, Fireball machine we just got in. Most of the machine works uh, for those that are interested in the machine. There's a few lights out that need to be replaced. I would replace all the rubbers um, in the machine because they are uh, not as elastic as they once, be, uh, once were. I believe the front two bumpers need actuators uh, to shoot the balls out. Uh, they just kind of hit and make a noise. They don't actually uh, actuate. These two actuators are do working where the movements are pushing those. Um, this, I believe, is working. Um, all the channels are working, but the ball sometimes gets stuck in the individual channels. I'll throw a ball up there just to show you. So, and it just keeps scores pretty well too. So that time I went through, but you can see the, uh, there's no actuators down below. Whoop. I'm trying to get this on camera. It's, it just kind of bounce back and forth. Both flippers do work uh, very well. And uh, I don't believe we have any, well, we do have some coin up things here. Whoops, get my fingers out of the hole. And it calculates, it's loud. And then I'll shoot the ball up eventually when it gets done counting. You see there's certain lights out on the main field here. It does have a little bit of problem shooting that ball out, but it will shoot the ball out eventually. Um, so, I mean, it's got little technical flaws in it. Uh, if someone doesn't mind putting just a little bit of time into it, and we may put time into it just depending on how our days go. Uh, adding lights, adding LEDs, maybe cleaning some of this up a little bit. Um, this is where the ball typically gets stuck is one of the channels. But you can see all the actuators at the top. And the hundreds do work. Uh, they just don't work on the side here. Neither side of those work. The, the channel flipper on this side works. Uh, and then like the coins on this side will hit the coins, but the, the channel thing doesn't make any noise. So it needs to be fixed. It's probably just a slight wiring issue. Com complete some um, of the actuators and the side two things here. Uh, maybe replace a few lights. And this board and uh, piece would be a fantastic piece. You might even want to put a clear lacquer on this to protect the paint on this because the paint's so good on the play field. Um, but yeah, this is the machine um, as it stands. It's great, great looking uh, colors on it. I like the yellow versus the black uh, machine. And like I say, it does light up, does work, does play. It needs some tweaks though because when the ball gets stuck up there, it's kind of... You have to remove all the glass and stuff to get it out. And I can't play but do this. One hand's kind of hard on this. Just going to calculate the scores again. It's very loud. Oh, that's the end of the game, I guess. Yeah, so that's the end of the game. Um, push button should work. Yep. So we have no problem starting up. Just the balls get caught up in the top there. So everything does seem to work on it to a point. It's not perfect, but for a cheap pinball machine that's super light and easy to move, this is the machine for you. Uh, price, great to move. Come check it out in person. Big Redhead Vintage Toys. We'll try to fire it up for you if you're interested in buying it. Um, otherwise, we'll have it turned off uh, in the store because I don't want people playing with it too much. It's a great piece uh, for any living room or any man cave as well, especially with the cool devil stuff if you're into that. Rock out. Hope you guys take care, and we'll hope to see you in store.